السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن سرچنگ الگورتھمس ان آرٹیفیشل انٹیلیجنس ان دا پرویس ویڈیو وی ایکسپلورڈ بی ایف ایس اینڈ ڈی ایف ایس الگورتھم تھرو این ایگزامپل ان ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو وی ول ڈائیو ان ڈو اے مور فن ایگزامپل آف گراف سرچ اسپیس ایکسپلوریشن یوزنگ اے پزل بیسڈ گیم وی ول اسٹارٹ بائی فارمولیٹنگ دا پرابلم دین بلڈنگ دا گراف فروم دا گیون پرابلم ڈسکرپشن اینڈ دین وی اپلائی بی ایف ایس الگورتھم ٹو سالو اٹ So let's get started. First, let's understand the problem and how can we represent it as a graph. We are given an n by n grid where Felix, our agent, starts at position S and needs to search the exit cell that contains the key, which is actually the goal state. Each state in the problem is a position x, y on the n by n grid. Start state is the given initial position of Felix denoted by S. Goal state is the exit cell that contains the key. The agent can move horizontally or vertically at adjacent cells subject to the movement constraints. Locked edges. Some cell transitions are blocked preventing movement in certain directions. For example, if the agent is in the cell D, it cannot directly move to cell E because it is blocked. In this case, we are not working with an actual grid. but rather a set of locations that are interconnected with locked or unlocked paths let's convert this into a graph where each location represents a node and each possible move between location is an edge now based on the problem description we can list out the possible movements s is the start position from s the agent can move to a or d from a it can move to b or e from d it can move to h or s from b it can move to a c or f so we have listed the possible movements of the agent from each node to the other node it will help us in making the graph now we create 16 nodes representing each grid cell let's mark the possible connections between them as listed previously Now this is our graph. Each node represents a position and each edge represents a possible move the agent can make. The goal is to find the path from S to the key. Let's start with breadth first search. BFS explores all neighbors of a node before moving to the next level. This is ideal for finding the shortest path in an unweighted graph like ours. We start with S. From S we can move to A or D. So we add these nodes to the queue. We will enqueue the nodes in the alphabetic order. We dequeue A. A is not the goal, so we will explore its neighbors that are B and E. We will append them at the end of the queue. The next node is D. D is not the goal. We explore the neighbor which is H and we will append it to the queue. We will dequeue the B node and we will add the neighbors of the B node C and F to the queue. We dequeue E node and the neighbor is F. which already in the queue so we will not append it again the next up is h node we will append the neighbors i and k at the end of the list then we explore the f node the next is c node and we will add its neighbor g at the end of the queue we dequeue i and add its neighbors j and l at the end of the queue we explore the k node and append its neighbor l to the list Now we visit the G node and we append its neighbor that is the key node at the end of the queue. Next we visit J and its neighbor M will be appended. Now we visit L and we will not append M again because it is already then list. The next node is the key node. We will dequeue it and check if it is in goal. Yes, it is the goal and finally we have reached the goal state. Now we will find the path by backtracking. So the path comes out to be S A B C G and K. And the path cost is 5. We are assuming that the cost per step is equals to 1. I hope you enjoyed this task. Now we have an assignment for you. On the same graph that we created earlier, you have to apply the depth first search algorithm on it. Find the order of traversal nodes, path and the path cost as well. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.